She's been suspended as a Labour MP, but she's still a member of the Labour Party. Yeah. In your own personal mm. view, I mean, just, just, she, just you, Pat, should she go? Honestly, it's not a decision for me who's a member well, or who's a well, candidate. I know it's not. That I'm is asking, decided I'm, yeah, by the chief it's... whip and the leader. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not asking you to sort of decide what should happen to her. I'm just thinking what you think. I mean, you must have an opinion. Look, I think my views in these matters are pretty clear and have been clear for some years. I didn't hold with the world view that Jeremy Corbyn held when he was leader. Uh, I lost my front bench job over that. I called it out quite clearly when I was a backbench Labour MP. I'm pleased with the position that we are in uh, today on world view, for example, on Russia and Ukraine, where uh, Keir Starmer's made clear we support Ukraine, we support our fellow democracies, we stand behind NATO. We remember where uh, the party that founded NATO, the post-war Labour government, headed by Clement Attlee. That's the Labour tradition I represent. Yeah. That's my views. I think there's no uh, secret about them. Right, so you won't explicitly say then that you think she should be booted out, but we can read between the lines, and I guess we can also then safely assume you won't be persuaded by arguments that will be made from within your own party that, hang on a minute, she's done a huge amount for race relations, not only um, as the first uh, female black MP, I think, but also she's been a long-serving uh, Labour MP who has worked hard on race issues, but that doesn't go far enough for you. Well, look, it's definitely true that Diane Abbott's been subject to the most appalling racism herself. And she was a pioneer when she was elected in 1987, the first black woman uh, to be uh, elected. And she's suffered terrible abuse over the years. But I still believe there isn't a hierarchy of victimhood when it comes to racism. And what we've all got to strive for is a society where no one is discriminated against on grounds of race or creed. Now, we're not there yet. Uh, it's a work in progress, but that's what we should all believe in, and that's what today's Labour Party stands for.